good afternoon uh, ladies and gentlemen i am abhay from eds technologies marketing department so first and foremost i would like to thank each and every one of you for taking your time out and uh, joining our webinar today uh, today our webinar uh, will be focusing on the topic uh, design critical care devices and ensuring adherence to crucial parameters using advanced simulation so before going into the webinar i would like to begin uh, by giving a short introduction about our company uh, eds technologies was uh, incorporated in 1994 uh, to focus on providing plm solutions implementation and support we are the uh, largest technology solutions provider in india and also the platinum partner to daso systems we have served more than 2000 customers across india and operate in nine locations with our headquarters being at bangalore we also have strategic partnerships with world leaders like uh, eos for additive manufacturing requirements s3 for gis requirements human solutions for ergonomic solutions for automotive and aerospace industries and technia for ensuring product data quality for military simulation and training needs we have partnered with presages and mac for visual simulation solutions with respect to eds solutions we closely work with synopsis and also we have signed up with uh, festo for industry 4.0 solutions we have a dedicated sales support marketing and customer satisfaction teams to address customers plm business and support requirement in today's webinar we are joined by my colleague Mr. dr Ra uh, dr uh, uh, varun sharma uh, who is a senior application specialist uh, handling the simulia portfolio varun is currently working with eds technologies as a senior application specialist he has published more than 12 research papers in international journals he is also the recipient of uh, mary curie actions and oead international mobility fellowship he has more than 6 years of r&d experience in the field of fea he has conducted r&d for tata steel in identifying the best refractory material for the blast furnace he has also carried out independent research of pore size distribution and void ratio he has also performed experiments to check infiltration behavior and high and low temperature experiments in germany over to you varun uh, thank you abey for the introduction uh, and welcome everyone for medical uh, uh, life sciences webinar so uh, in today webinar uh, we are going to cover uh, specifically life sciences uh, you know medical equipments and uh, how you can use simulation in uh, pharma biotech and medical industry so this will be the fundamental uh, interest uh, in today webinar so we try to cover our webinar in different uh, section so in the beginning we will be covering little bit introduction part about simulation and then we will progress on uh, how we can transfer business values of simulation in life sciences and subsequently uh, few of the slides we will present related to our solution which is a 3d experience and finally we will represent global case studies related to life sciences and uh, in the last we will showcase you our customer and finally we we can have a q and a session so let's start the session uh, in between if you have any query uh, like abhay said you can mention in the chat box and uh, we can discuss afterwards so uh, as you know life science is one of the critical area in uh, today uh, era and uh, so we try to split this medical and life sciences area in three different segments so first one is basically a patient care second one is pharma and biotech and third one is medical devices so uh, you can be in any of the domain uh, either you know any of the sectors and we will showcase you how you can use the simulation in any of the area uh, with the help of application and with the help of case studies so fundamentally let's say if you are uh, uh, working in any of the domain what will be your uh, like intention your you know goal so primarily uh, we start with you know creating how you can uh, uh, how you can validate and drive new technology that is our one of the prime uh, prime goal and uh, subsequently with the help of simulation you can create a new method with with new methods you can uh, basically optimize your medical equipments you can uh, 
uh, have more efficiency and you can achieve the target basically so obviously it is not that easy to create a medical equipment so simulation basically can give you the feasibility and finally we have the tool that is called as a 3d experience uh, which can uh, enable you to perform all these kind of fundamentals so this is basically you can say a principal statement we have taken from our uh, uh, customers so they say that uh, with the help of simulation they can drive new technologies and subsequently these few pictures that you see like living heart uh, model uh, orthopedics and uh, electrical uh, sorry medical equipments uh, syringes so these are few of the uh, examples that we have done for our customers so in a similar fashion you can create more complex symmetry so this is the compass of uh, 3d experience this is a kind of uh, like you can see a solution and uh, every every company every software have certain logos so this is the logo of 3d experience so it includes a uh, different options like 3d you know uh, virtual platforms integration and virtual reality so it includes a uh, different applications where you can collaborate you can scale you can do on premise you can do uh, you know best practices you can perform design explorations and you know so many things so it is like your mobile phone which includes a number of different applications like linkedin irctc facebook so if you want to access facebook you simply need to find it and click it and it will open in a similar fashion we have this uh, 3d experience platform where you have different applications and different role and you can simply click it based on the requ requirement uh, so if you talk about like uh, how 3d experience is differentiate from current scenario uh, from current applications from current you know cad based uh, tool so i can say uh, over the last few years people are uh, supposed to use file cad file and uh, this file have certain you know dimensions so you need a very strong hardware capability but if you have a 3d experience uh, you know you can easily transfer your data uh, globally over a single platform and uh, you can perform different kind of investigations on the same platform so it is basically converting your existing methods to a new method which does not require extensive intervention of human so it is on cloud based technology and simultaneously if you are used to with uh, like perpetual investigations or perpetual uh, you know systems definitely we can uh, offer you the same uh, platform uh, over the perpetual uh, on the basis of perpetual licenses so again uh, in 3d uh, so if you see this picture you will have a clear idea uh, 3d includes catia solidworks geovia biovia so these are the icons of different softwares and uh, in i we have different softwares like netpipes excelid and uh, for uh, uh, product life cycle managements we have 3d excites and inovia whereas virtual reality includes uh, delmia simulia and 3d biovia uh, so considering your requirement we can choose any of the applications but today webinar is predominantly uh, will be on simulia so simulia is a part of virtual reality where you can perform the simulation so these are basically data driven apps and uh, these are model and simulation based app and obviously at the same time you can uh, collaborate uh, with a different you know user and at the same time you can uh, like play with a different tool and uh, this tool is not dedicated to one industry uh, currently let's say you are working in medical domain so it can be implemented in medical later on uh, like if you switch to civil same tool can be used for civil so we have a different algorithm inbuilt in this platform so it is an integrated platform where you can collaborate and work accordingly so you can see how extensively this tool is so there are number of connectors we can connect uh, in 3d experience uh, whether it is from ca industry or mcat ecat offices and uh, obviously data connectors can also be incorporated here and specialized app can also be integrated 
so it is a one platform and uh, with a different collaboration option so these are some of the capabilities of uh, 3d experience so this will be uh, even as a complementary in every like uh, applications along with any applications so uh, it includes a dashboard it includes uh, 3d sharing innovation options uh, 3d space which is a basically easy simulation data management where you can transfer data from one place to another and 3d play is a basically a visualization tool and 3d search is a kind of uh, like control plus f is a basically finding option where you can have uh, full access to the managed data and cw is the basically uh, like kind of tag options where you can uh, you know uh, look for the relevant data and you can filter the uh, specific things and finally uh, there is also a option of 3d messaging where you can do a real time collaborations with the help of messaging okay so that was a little bit about uh, 3d experience uh, so now let's start focus on medical part uh, so now the point is okay varun you have explained about 3d experience but what happened like how we can use this tool in our medical industry in life science industry so you can see uh, this picture uh, it's basically a pictorial representation so this is one of the like uh, investigation we have done for our uh, one of our prestigious customer so uh, they are basically uh, want to know from us the process the workflow on their you know uh, medical equipments on their area of interest so we can support you in creating the workflow and you can see how elaboratively this tool can support you so if you start from here let's say number 1 uh, where you can, where you can do validations you know you can perform like number of test you can verify the test you can perform the strategy and uh, you can maintain number of requirements so it is a kind of like data collections where you can analyze the data at the same time if you are uh, looking to perform something related to you know uh, design of experiments which includes number of parameters related to human body so this is a kind of human factor design elaboration again if you are into uh, system engineering you are doing like you know uh, you are working with certain medical equipments like mri ct scan where you have a lot of uh, medical pictures in the form of dicom that can also be process uh if you are into designing if you are into manufacturing of medical equipments you need to design them in a reliable and safety way so that can also be work and if you are into electronic device engineering where you need where you need to create uh, electronic components and uh, at the same times you are playing with lot of electromagnetic waves so how you can uh, you know perform maxwell equations so again those kind of things can also be done for example if you go to the hospital and you ask the doctor that you are having certain uh, pain in your body so and doctor suggested you to perform mri or ct scan so you are going to you know bear certain waves uh, okay electromagnetic waves and but you don't know what is the effect on those waves on your human body so those kind of uh, you know uh, physical or uh, investigations cannot be like uh, easy to done so with the help of simulation we can identify the uh, the nature of the physics and also if you are like willing to perform something critical uh, for example heart stent investigations that can also be done so this is just one of the pictorial representation i wanted to represent like how extensively you can use how you can you know improve your like the way of thinking so uh before we start into the uh like applications or case studies uh, i wanted to show you the legacy of uh, 3d experience uh, that how it has been developed over a period of time and how you can rely on this tool so obviously if you perform physical testing you need to do you know lot of clinical trials uh, you need to follow certain strategies policies but if you rely on the simulation you will have like you know uh, number of possibilities 
so let's start looking at this particular curvature so you can see that there are number of softwares available in the markets like abacus matrix engineers system engineering net vibes every so so you can just name it and you know you will see the name over here so these are actually uh, different tools available in the market and uh, abacus is the oldest as well as the gold we can say uh, gold solver uh, which is known for its uh, equation solving capability when it comes to nonlinear anal analysis and similarly every software like matrix one is known for its uh, like electromagnetic investigations so you know every tool is having a specific criteria and, and known for its uh, problem solving capabilities so you cannot have all those tools uh, it will be very expensive and uh, not a good idea to buy all the softwares uh, so in order to be very smart uh, we have created a tool called 3d experience which includes the capabilities of almost all the softwares but with a different name so let's say if you are willing to perform uh, non-linear analysis then you need to go for abacus or already abacus is there right so if you are willing to perform electromagnetic analysis you need to buy cst already cst tool is there so if you are willing to perform fluid investigation you need to go to xflow xflow is already there so you know all the softwares uh, based on their applications are integrated in 3d experience so whether you are you know working in different states of matter solid liquid gas you can switch to 3d experience so we have a solver we have the technique we have the solutions which can you know help you to simulate your problem so now let's start uh, uh, looking into uh, like how you can use this tool simulation in life sciences and medical care so what we did we basically uh, divide this into four section so first section is all about multiphysics which includes uh, structural fluids electromagnetics and uh, multibody dynamics as well as system modeling second is a uh, durability so if you are in medical industry uh, durability is one of the key area where you need to see the capability of your medical equipment over a period of time so we cannot neglect the endurance part so we are giving uh, this is uh, giving them as one of the second uh, uh, prime most area of investigation and third one is the process automation and optimizations obviously uh, medical industry does not uh, uh, primarily focus on reducing the weight of the component they are more into like accuracy and reliable solutions but at the same time if you have the feasibility to optimize something uh, that can be very beneficial so uh, you can create a automation process automation and at the same time you can optimize it so we will also represent you here how you can do that and finally the virtual human modeling so this is uh, one of like you know very difficult area nowadays how you can uh, create a human modeling virtually so uh, this is again like scanning the body and you know collecting the images and creating the 3d model and afterwards performing uh, structural and mechanical investigations so these are uh, you know four domains uh, we have created based on our experience and knowledge from our customer and uh, obviously everything can be done in 3d experience platform and uh, you can transfer the data from one you know location to another so it is a car it is a concept under a simulation data management and finally you can collaborate and visualize so you can uh, split the task uh, within your team members and every team members can do specific task and afterwards they can share the file in between so it's a collaborative tool okay so now uh, now i wanted to show you few of the uh, you know cases that that uh, where we got the chance to work with so i am representing here a few of the slides which includes explicitly uh, the investigation area 
so we have a customer who are into uh, you know orthopedics implants manufacturing so you can see that uh, here we have uh, implemented certain metals uh, in orthopedics and uh, nowadays also uh, you might have encounter like number of dentists also using simulation in order to see the cavities like you know porosity among your teeth and uh, the elongations and what will happen if you implement like you know screw or you know titanium or something just to see how it is you know uh, it will work so kind of a biocompatibility sort of work those kind of investigation can be done with the help of simulation and uh, at the same time uh, this is maybe a new to some of the user so it's a hearing aids capability so once you you know uh, if you see the old people they start experiencing uh, the decibel power degradation so they are not able to hear properly after a certain uh, period of time once they get old so in order to check the decibel uh, you know power you can use simulations you can uh, you know create a acoustic environment and you can check the power so this is also a part of uh, you know medical device investigation and again i will emphasize here mri safety uh, when you place your body uh, you know inside the machine uh, a lot of uh, electromagnetic waves you know circulate around your body so human body is in uh, basically includes hydrogen and uh, we have a magnet so there is a direct interactions of magnets with the human uh, with the hydrogen particles and uh, those kind of you know things literally uh, play certain role in terms of uh, like de collision so uh, if you wanted to know that phenomena that is also possible and second thing what you can do you can basically collect the images a dicom images uh, once you scan and you can collect those images and prepare 3d model and which mod that model can further be used for simulation you can apply boundary conditions and you can see what is happening and uh, same thing you can use for the identification of tumor for the identification of plague inside the human body uh, also uh, you can see another area is head impact so uh, this is a case study we have done for uh, pgi chandigarh so they were basically looking to see uh, the impact of uh, ball or impact of human head on some solid body with certain velocity so how our internal uh, cerebral spinal fluid is affecting and at the same time what is happening in the ventricles and cerebellum so the these kind of like you know minute uh, investigation can also be uh, identified with the help of simulation uh, also we have uh, uh, clothing design investigations so if you design your clothes with nylon what will have effect on your skin and if you design it with cotton what will happen so that can also be done so h and m zara are using modeling and simulation capabilities nowadays for the investigation of uh, like cloth behavior with respect to the human skin kind of a contact pressure can also be calculate accordingly so that was related to the medical devices and uh, this one we have created considering the pharma and biotech industry uh, so let's say you are working in uh, manufacturing sectors you are like uh, manufacturing the different tablets for different uh, diseases so you need to pack your tablet so when you pack you need to place it in certain uh, packets it can be plastics it can be you know a uh, certain layer of uh, uh, polyvinyl uh, you know packing but how you will pack it so you need to understand the compaction of the drug because that also literally affect your tablet uh, like the life cycle if there is certain moisture inside it and uh, then there there will be high chances your tablet will lose the proper effect so compaction of drug is literally one of the uh, very crucial area nowadays if you are into manufacturing sector that can also be resolved with the help of simulation 
and uh, bottom you can see uh, we also incorporated here tablet transport and storage investigations so it is a kind of investigation where you can uh, see the concentration of the salt so we have different uh, salt particles in brown color blue, blue color green color so if a doctor recommend you uh, to take a tablets with the proper concentration of salt then uh, how you will identify it so you can use a simulation it can help you to you know uh, understand the concentration and at the same time you can see how the tablet transport and storage take place so how efficiently and effectively you can use this simulation that depends on the user and how you are utilizing it and second is your about your packaging so when you pack uh, like i discussed already uh, there is no like direct phenomena you need to uh, use certain mechanical uh, process and here we have thermoforming which can uh, you know place your packet and then do blister packaging so that can also be investigated and at the same time you can uh, calculate the moisture and oxygen diffusion and finally the third one we have is uh, drug delivery this is uh, a very common investigation so you can create a syringe uh, and then you can place rubber inside it and you can check the like pressure ability of the syringe the leakage analysis you can check so in a similar fashion you can design catheters you can design stent and so on also we have a perisletic pump design uh, that looks very simple but uh, the working operation is little bit complex here you can use uh, the simulation behavior for the proper uh, like design investigations and at the same time you can do the design of experiments with respect to the pump design okay so this is a, a case reports uh, we have taken it uh, from fda website so it is basically telling you like how a product uh, is compromised of different different regulations components for example drug device biologic device drug biological device drug device biologicals and how they are you know uh, combined and mixed as a single identity so if you see this picture you will have an idea like combination of products includes device drug and biological so it's a very uh, like you know billion dollar industry and uh, number of investigation is going on every day basis and uh, you need to develop uh, methods of work process which can uh, you know create your components efficient and safe safely reliable as as well as uh, cost efficient so simulation can be uh, here a player okay so now uh, let's start uh, you know discussing about the applications uh, about the case studies that we have done for our customer so this is basically a picture uh, before we present case study i wanted to show this slide so it is very simple i mean you can see like we have you know different pictures catheters stents uh, syringes medical equipments but in every medical equipment we have a fundamental like principle we wanted to design a product which is safe efficacy and integrity reliability as well as ergonomics and usability so these are six points we always uh, you know keep in our mind when we try to create something new specifically when you work in medical industry okay so let's start now discussing about the case studies so uh, well well you when you do uh, you know simple simulations for uh, for you know any mechanical civil geotechnical or you know something structural problem then you you know like you know you either have to identify the deformation behavior or you know something stiffness or you know stress in values or something but in terms of you know medical device uh, simulation your requirement is completely different so it can be you know related to the integrity it can be related to the specific problems like fluid device interaction problem and uh, 
when you insert the needle in the human body what will happen and how the drug is going to diffuse so you know the requirement is completely different so in order to make it effectively it's better to create the requirement before start the simulation create a rough estimate idea using a pen paper and clearly mention your area of investigation and then accordingly you can start working with the simulation you can change the requirement in terms of you know simulation steps so again if you see here on the top we have performance matrices like how you can use the ease of administration no leakage durability drug delivery effective and minimal patient comforts obviously uh, patient discomfort is uh, one of the area which you cannot uh, easily identify but up to certain extent you can you know uh, find certain solution which we will represent you okay let's start first uh, with the drug filled injector uh so this is a case study uh, we have done for our customer so it's a very simple uh, phenomena where you have a syringe which includes uh, two different parts one is the outer and second one is the inside outer is basically your uh, plastic body inside you have a rubber so when you apply a force uh, over here obviously it will penetrate and it will push the needle to go outside so this is the needle which we are going to insert in the human body so it looks very simple but uh, you can perform number of investigation with this one for example damage initiation evolution under a different load when it will fail so sometime what happen when you insert the syringe it can break it can you know tilt it can have certain failure so in order to have uh, you know properly utilizing this particular uh design you need to have a proper flow chart proper you know investigation so this is a tool we have in 3d experience we say that mdo it is a uh, optimization uh, flow chart and uh, you can also say it is a uh, sim flow where you can align different component and uh, you can uh, perform the simulation so Uh, this is a strategy to perform the simulation uh, where you can do the optimization also you can see the optimizations and here we have different components calculators abacus solver so this is a workflow in order to calculate the damage in initiation and evolution so it can be performed with load without load you know with uh, with rubber without rubber with different liquids you know so you can perform different different scenarios and you can see the capabilities so it is a part of device integrity obviously it involves two parts rubber and plastic and it is not that easy to resolve the physics of two different uh, you know met metals uh, different materials but we have a different algorithms for different material and you can capture the physics very easily okay second case study that we have sorry uh, let me go back yeah so uh, you can see that we try to create a uh, fluid and device integration so you can see that when you press uh, from the back side the liquid will come out from the syringe okay outflow and uh, how much it is coming from the syringe okay so this kind of investigation can be done i mean obviously uh, it is uh, quite understood like when you press it will come out but how much you know with which with, with which velocity it will come out what is the plunger force what is the leakage prevention so those kind of investigation can be done with the help of simulation physically it required lot of uh, human interventions you know physical experiments and cost effective okay another thing is needle penetration <coughs> uh, when you like go to the hospital let's say and uh, you ask doctor like for, for medicines for certain you know diseases 
sometimes doctor recommend you for like you know injections so there is a sort of needle penetrations so needle penetration looks quite simple i mean uh, but when you start like thinking with respect to skin uh, you need to include a lot of things like the tissue damage modeling you know how my skin is going to deteriorate with respect to the insertion what will happen to the epidermis what will happen to the second dermis and hypodermis so we have a layer of skins available uh, you know in our uh, like human skin and when you start inserting the needle will like deteriorate the different skin layer and every skin layer have their own thickness and own like you know uh, like fat inside it so it's not that easy to identify the needle penetration physically so simulations can help you here so you need to design two different medium and you can penetrate the needle one of the example is also includes uh, like drug diffusion and uh, again it is uh, very complex but in simulations we have done it uh, in a very sh short span of time so you can see how we have uh, like diffused the liquid fluids and then we have identified the tissue tissue expansion in hypodermic layer so same thing uh, you can do it in a number of ways uh, at the same time i wanted to highlight here is like how you will penetrate your needle so if you see uh, on the right hand side uh, this is one of the example so nowadays you can see uh, doctors sometimes like penetrate so if if you see you know uh, like uh, kinder uh, children who is like 2 years of age and if you take uh, the children to the hospital for like birth uh, injections so they will like inject at a 90 degree so if sometimes you can see the doctor is injecting at like 45 degree sometimes 25 and sometimes 10 to 15 so every time the orientations you know the penetrations angle is different just because they wanted to uh, like uh, like penetrate the needle at particular layer so you can see we have a different layer and uh, when you inject at 90 degree we, it will going to muscles and if you it's 45 then it will be subconscious tissues then uh, dermis and then epidermis so every angle can be identified and that is a part of tissue modeling uh, and tissue composition mechanics okay so this is again one uh, one workflow we have uh, created uh, for one of our customer so it is basically uh, a life cycle you can also say in oncology uh, how you can do end to end digital continuity and data integrity using 3d experience so there are number of steps for example collaborative the innovations and then therapeutics design and developments uh, and then manufacturing excellency and then you can perform the uh, excellence operational excellence so again this kind of workflow uh, you can create on your own product on your specific area of investigations using 3d experience a dazol system product so these are the few of the pictures uh, taken it from the visualization tool including end to end digital continuity okay now let me focused uh, to the second uh, problem which is a stent so might be some of you are already into stent investigation uh, so there are number of you know ways design strategies and modeling modeling processes and uh, we are supporting our customers on daily basis this stand simulations so based on their requirement we try to create this slides so let's say you are working in stand industry so your requirement could be a uh, material behaviors dynamic loading behaviors fatigue life estimations design optimizations blood flow modelings and pressure di diff uh, driven diffusion so obviously it can be a long list uh, but based on our like area of uh, like you know experience as of now we have created this slides 
so now let's me let me show you uh, how you can use this so stent behavior is a little bit complex it involves you know different stages of loading crimping expansion you know and uh, compression could be in uniaxial biaxial you know so different loading scenario different step scenarios are there and at the same time if you see the curve it is history uh, hysteresis are there and uh, different materials you can use so it is not that easy obviously uh, it, it requires a lot of uh, like physical data in terms of validations so we try to create it a, with a very simple strategy so you can see this slide uh, it include most of the informations in the top you can see we try to uh, give the physical material chart like austenites martin austenites and so on and then we have uh, temperature dependence test in behavior of uh, nipinol which includes loading and unloading and then we are uh, trying to replicate here in the bottom what is the uh, phenomena when you cool it when you heat it and when you do thermoforming so these are physical like you know data uh, taken it from few research paper and then we start you know uh, looking into the uh, like you know the biological aspects how it is uh, placed inside the body how it will affect the intima media and adventia so uh, there are number of you know skin layers we have you know uh, fibers orientations are there so in order to make it like smooth you need to understand first the process the structure of the artery wall and then you can you know start working with this particular uh, design and implementation part so this is more related to the uh, biological aspects and uh, let me skip that part yeah so now you can see once you place the stent uh, which is called basically a crimping under a uniform radial reductions and then you can start expansion that's the ultimate goal of stent and uh, at the same time you can do the insertion along uh, the guide wire plus balloon expansion in order to make it to the patient denied artery okay. so th these are uh, kind of uh, you know investigations we have done for the customers using 3d experience simulia platform okay <clears throat> second is uh, this is one of the uh, projects we have done uh, so you can see uh, it is a coronary stent uh, you can see here it is subjected to a cyclic motion or you can say cardiac cyclic motion in a living heart model so this is very much you know like live examples uh, when you ask me about how simulation can be done so you can see how extensively you can use this tool it is not that easy to create it but uh, after the you know certain like iterations you can achieve these kind of simulations within 3d experience platform okay uh, so obviously fatigue life is one of the uh, prime important criteria which includes uh, the fatigue life estimations so this is a graph we have created uh, based on a few few iterations so it, it is with respect to the stresses and mean stresses so you can see uh, like number of you know uh, spots are there blue blue is basically for the proximal areas and uh, green one is for middle red one is for the distal and then for the envelope data so most of the fatigue life estimation is between 200 and the 300 uh, stress ranges this is under a in vivo loading condition okay let me uh, show you the like few of the contour pictures with respect to uh, stent fatigue using parametric and uh, topology optimizations so parameter for parametric optimizations you need to uh, select few of the parameters uh, and then topology is just to uh, increase the stiffness and reducing the weight of the component so you can reduce the stent weight it can eventually help your heart artery and uh, with the help of parametric tool you can optimize the design as well so these are the processes we have used and these are the 3d contour pictures and this is the design area and these are the contour pictures 
this is first one is for the baseline then eight uh, percent optimized and then 14 percent the parametric optimization shape optimization so you can see predominantly there were like uh, localization of stresses are very high and after the shape optimization the amount of stresses is almost diminished so this kind of like you know minor uh, investigations can be done easily so this is a blood flow modeling uh, it is a part of uh, fsi fsi is basically fluid structure interaction and uh, where you can create two different medium one is for solid and second one is for liquid so solid can be modeled as a eulerian and liquid can be modeled as a lagrangian formulations so with the help of two different formulations you can simulate the behavior and these are pressure driven analysis which includes the expansion and drug eluting model of a stent okay finally i wanted to show uh, a case study we have done for nimhans in bangalore they have used our tool uh, for uh, like predicting the current distributions in a specific patient in this uh, cerebral uh, brain lines so physically it was a little bit complex so with the help of simulation you can identify what is happening on the layers so these kind of specific information is very much you know possible so they have scanned the data and then imported it into uh, abacus environment okay so before we you know uh, like concluding the slides i wanted to show you a uh, few of our prestigious customers uh, who are using our platform you know simulation tool on daily basis so strikers bostons baxter uh, sajanand smt megatronic csir manipal and so on okay so now let me uh, you know uh, try to give you like you know conclusion out of all the slides that we have presented so i will again fundamentally i will go back to the first slide where i have you know uh, like pick these six points so you can consider these points uh, in your mind when you start working with this uh, simulation so it is always a safety efficacy integrity reliability and uh, ergonomics and usability and uh, you can perform multi physics uh, multi scale as well as uh, you know virtual human modeling uh, which are critical to design safe and effective uh, with the help of simulation so i have already represent different case studies like very complex like pad, uh, penetrations needle and uh, stent drug drug filled injectors so everything is possible uh, and finally uh, this is uh, one of the tool we have in the market a very competitive and uh, powerful tool where you you can do number of things not just simulations you can like you know digitally you can connect you can drive the data you can uh, like test virtually without you know investing a lot of money on physical test and you can create your process you can create the workflow so it can do a lot of things for you in just one platform uh, that's it from my side thank you i would like to thank all the audience for taking their time out of their busy schedules for uh, joining this webinar hope you all got a uh, uh, insight from our solution how it can be uh, implemented in the medical devices so once again i thank all the audience for joining today thank you